Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12, playing on the Direwolf 20 mod pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well over here on my swamp island. And what are we going to be doing today? Well, we are going to be playing around with the remote, or all the remote stuff from Applied Energistics 2. And if we have some time, we'll be playing around with solar panels and void ore miners from environmental tech so let's get started that's right ladies and gentlemen well last time i told you that we were going to be going and checking out the twilight lich but we are not going to be doing that and I think from here on out, I am going to refrain from telling you what my expected schedule is because I've gotten inspired for something else here. So let's take a walk out here and we'll see if some things have changed. What do you think? Yeah, look at that. We got we got a little bit of a difference up here. All of our storage has been moved and you might be wondering, where did it go? Well, it has now moved to over here yep i have crammed all of that stuff into the storage compact machine so let's drop in here and we see immediately there are some changes yeah they're pretty obvious we've got a floor here on our our compact machine and then there's all the storage okay we've done a little bit of different work here move some things into compact or compacting drawers that well, probably should have been in there and, and overall it looks like things have been spread out a little bit and if we were to go behind there in fact we can let's go up here and then go this way we should be able to drop down in here okay and so this is kind of the behind the scenes thing here we've got you remember we set this section up for our biodiesel well i moved all of that stuff over here and there we go. I told you I was going to take care of a lot of that stuff off camera. And so there we go. So up top here is the extra little section where we're going to be putting the additional compact machines. So this will kind of be our hub right here. So we'll have our storage area downstairs and then we'll have other compact machines up here. And if we were to, well, you saw me set this one up, mob farm. Okay. And the thermoelectric array. So we got that. And then machines, let's go take a look at that. Over here, I moved my atomic reconstructor and the empowerer. And I will probably move some other machines in there as well. So I'm dilly-dallying and we need to change, we need to do some stuff here. So um, so if you, you take a look here, I want to set this up for you. We've got right now, temporarily, we've got our Oh, uh, what would we, this is the auto crafting thing. So we've got an interface with the molecular assemblers all dotted around it right there. Move that over. And then we've also got our, our computer right here. And that's fine. It works pretty well. But the problem is that I want to kick things up a notch. I don't want to just have one of these interfaces. If we take a look here, that thing is full now, right? And we've got a lot of other patterns that we need to be working on. So that means we need a sec a section for just doing the auto crafting and for the computer right here. So we need a larger computer, more storage, more processing. And I was thinking of putting it in a compact machine, which is great, right? It'd be awesome. Let's come in here. Okay. And so I built this compact machine and then I put tunnels on the walls and I fully intended some of these tunnels to be attached to dense smart cables. And look what's not connecting, okay? Yeah, those aren't connecting. We've even got one down here in the floor. The dense smart cables do not connect, okay? And this is kind of setting up what we're gonna be working on today. So over here, I've got dense smart cables here on the side. Yeah, that's that didn't work. And it turns out that Applied Energistics 2 does not work with compact machines to go through the walls. Refined Storage does, but Applied Energistics 2 does not. There's another mod, it's an add-on mod, that adds that uh, gives you a little adapter. So it's an extra block on each side, but it at least lets you send 
AE2 systems or ME systems into a compact machine. We don't have that mod in the Direwolf 20 pack. So what are we going to do? Well, we're, we're going to have to go another route. We're going to be going down the route of a remote system. And so in Applied Energistics 2, let's bring this up here. Not Apple. Applied. We need something called the Quantum Link. So if we take a look here, we're going to need eight quantum rings. We're going to need a Quantum Link chamber. And then we're going to need to make a Quantum Entangle Singularity. Now, the Quantum Ring, not so bad here. It's a little bit expensive, but we should have plenty of, of materials. We need, we're going to need to make two of these things. So 16 Quantum Rings two quantum link chambers and two quantum entangled singularities. And this is the part where we're going to get started on today. And while we're waiting on this thing to, to go, then, uh, you know, we'll work on something else. So we need to make the, the singularity. So we need to drop one singularity and one ender dust and it cause an explosion within a range of the item. So we need to make a singularity. So let's see what that's all about. How do you make a singularity? So we've got the quantum entangled one. We need to make this thing. We need a matter condenser. And then we just throw a bunch of stuff in here and we condense that into a singularity. So that means we need to make a matter condenser. Okay. How's this one? Not too bad. Okay. Okay. That's, that's easy enough. And then we need a storage component. So yeah, we needed, um, let's, let's see if we can do this storage. What's the maximum 64 K. So we will be making one 64 K and that means we need three 16 K's each of which requires three, four K's so three times three, nine, nine, four K's, right? And each four K requires three one Ks. So 27 one K ME storage. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be on a crafting mode here. So let me take care of getting all of those together and I'll be back when we're ready to make this, this uh, matter condenser or get this matter condenser set up. And here we go. We've got our 64 K ME storage component. Excellent. Let's see if we can grab some other stuff here. We might need item ducts. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for impulse item ducks here. And then we need, we need a really good servo. So what that's the extraction rate of two seconds. No, let's do, um, that was, you know, we might be able to do the resonant. Yes, we can. So let's do that one. All right. And then we are going to go outside of here. Probably have to sleep the night away. If I remember, it was getting to be nighttime. Yep. Okay, so the way this matter condenser works, it is going to take some item that we choose and just cram a bunch of it into the singularity. So uh, I think one of the best things that we have available for cramming a bunch of items into something is none other than right here. Okay, so we're going to take the material process here. You know what? We can uh, take. Yeah, we'll just do we'll just do something like this. All right. So um, I think we need some we need some power. Is that sufficient? Does that have enough power? No. Well, let's let's do that. And then I was supposed to do something. Condenser, not destroy items. Condense into matter balls. Condense into singularities. Okay. And I think we may need to actually make a singularity. There's something else we got to do there. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh no, let's go here. Oh, I see. Okay. So it takes items. Yep. Okay. Okay. That's cool. And we'll do this. All right. So now let's grab the impulse item duct like so, and then like 
So, and we'll make sure just to put a little filter on there. Whitelist and set this to ignored. And that should be going in. It is ever so slowly, ever so slowly. And I don't know if there's any way to speed this up. So that's what I said. We're going to have to get started on it and then we'll just let it do its thing. Okay. So that's going to take a while. It's going to fill up to 256,000. So we'll probably finish up the remote stuff um, in the next episode. Okay. That's going to be a while. So let's go back down into the storage area here. And what I want to do is uh, something else right here. Okay. We've got a, a right mess on the floor and uh, we need to do something about that. So let's go into here and see if we've got something called cable anchors. Do we have the cutting knife? No, we don't. So I don't think that matters so much. Certus quartz versus nether quartz. Let's make a cutting knife here. We need one of these. And then I want to make some cable anchors like so. And then it's just a matter of taking some sort of, of ingot like that. Okay. And then this is basalt. Do we have any? We do have some right here. And then, all right, so you take your cable anchors that you make with your cutting knife and you set it out like that. All in four, let's see, one in a cross pattern like that and then put a block of any choice right in the middle. And that's going to give you four of these cable facades, okay? And then you can take these cable facades and just go like this. And that just hides that you have cables running all over the place. So we're going to do that a little bit more. So let's grab some of that and then also a chisel. And we'll make sure we're not going to chisel the whole thing or do the whole thing. So it's going to be like that and disorder tiles. Good. And then we come over here. Same process like so. Maybe like that, and we'll see if that's sufficient right here. We're just going to cover this up, make things a little bit neater so that we're not, uh, you know, doing that jumpy, jumpy thing as we walk across. That gets kind of annoying. Okay, and just enough. Okay, so we got one left over. That's cool. So we can throw that into our, oh, we can throw this back into our system here, like so. Okay, now. The next order of business, we need to get into a little bit better of uh, some some energy. Okay, so the oh, I see what happened. Ha! Huh. One of the, the cable facade went right there around my crafting terminal because I had it in my hand. Okay, well that that helps too. So that shows you something a little more of what can happen. Now, long term, I don't. I'm I want a little bit larger of a network right here. So instead of the controllers just sitting right here. I want them to expand outward around here, but that takes a decent amount of power and the remote thing that we're going to be setting up takes 400 RF a tick. Now I think we have it, but we just be cutting it close with, we've got 3,500 RF a tick coming out of our, our thermoelectric array, but we need to kick it up a notch. And the way we're going to do that is with, yes, we are going to go down the route of the environmental tech, uh, solar array. So let's see what we need for the solar panel. So let's just do this. And in case you didn't know, at if you put an at symbol, that is going to let you type in the name of the mod. So we'll do this and then we'll just say solar. Right now we can only do solar tier one and that's going to lapis lazuli block. We need some litharite. So let's see about that. We're going to need four of those, four blocks, which is nine crystals a piece. So we need 36 of those like so. And we've got just enough. We can run that. Okay. Do we have the lith right now? Yes, we do. Okay. So we'll make this good. Okay. And then next up, we need a litharite cell. So we need uh, three of these. Okay, and interconnect, and we need 
just a little bit more and we do have that okay so let's see if we can do solar cell we need this one all right and then solar array tier one grab that excellent so we can do that now and then uh we also need something called an assembler and the assembler is made yeah we are going to need a litharite crystal let's see litharite i don't think we can quite do that yet assembler let's do this do we have yes we do excellent all right so um it used to be environmental tech had something called the guide or a manual they got rid of that well it, at least it hasn't been ported over into 1.12 so now what you've got is you you make your assembler and then you make your controller and then you just whack it left click and that brings up the required blocks here so let me make a note here i've got post-its had post-its had post-its where'd they go there they are let's do this and you can hear it flickering around in the background we need four modifiers okay then we need 16 structure frames okay tier one and then we need nine solar cells and in this case it it says any type i don't know if well you we can't do any type right now because we don't have all the crystals for that so uh, i do want to make this here okay so those null modifiers we can actually make those from uh, it, it can be well let, let's just bring this up environmental tech and we'll say modifier so you've got a couple of different types of modifiers we've got the speed modifier and the accuracy modifier those are for the miners the piezo modifier is for solar cells and so if it's raining normally your solar array is going to produce less rf but if you've got the piezo modifier on it's going to work for you but you are going to need uh, a null modifier in the middle so you still have to make four of those so let's see about that can we make four? Oh yes we can excellent can we make this no we're missing what mica we can't do those well we're just gonna have to go without for the time being yeah that's a, that's a bummer that means we're gonna need um we'll do that and grab the modifier there we need to get Ooh. we need to get this guy online but to get the better modifier we're gonna need the void resource miner which is its own little thing but we need the void ore miner first so um let's take care of finishing up this thing so We've got our null modifiers. We can put those in there. That's fine. We'll we'll just deal without the piezo modifier. But um, let let me just show you what's going on here. This this piezo modifier requires mica. Mica only comes from the resource miners. So you have to set up something else. It's it's cool. I think I I like the way that they've got this set up now. You have to progress through the different tiers of the mod rather than just throw a bunch of materials at it that you can get from elsewhere. And so I think they did a good job on this one on the 1.12 port. So what else do we need? We need some structure frames. Can we make any of these here? No, but can we make a, say another interface? I bet, I bet we could make a pattern for an interface. Can we do that? And we'll need, yeah, let's do that. Okay. But we will need to make, make an interface before we can actually use it. Excellent. And then what we do, just plop it right there. And then we can put this into here. Okay. And if we look in the interface terminal, we've now got a spot available right there. Okay. Uh, then next up, what I want to do is make structure frame. 
Uh, we'll do that right here. Structure frame tier one. We're going to have to hit this multiple times in the coming coming days and weeks for this particular mod. Maybe not the coming weeks, but we'll, we'll progress through this. I'm going to do tier one with you and then tier two, tier three and all that. Uh, we'll probably stop at tier four on this thing because tier five requires nether stars. But I think what we can do now is say structure frame. And we need 16 of these and it'll tell us if we need any materials. Is it going to do it? It will. Excellent. Oh, this is awesome. Man, uh, this, um, this auto crafting thing is, is great. Okay. So we've got our structure frame tier ones, uh, and then we need the solar cell. We should probably make a pattern for that as well. So do that solar cell. We're going to go with the litharite solar cell for now. We'll make, Ooh, we need a pattern for that. Okay. We'll chuck that on here. And then let's let's do that real quick. Vot photovoltaic. Yes. Okay. Let's just do three of those for now. Okay. And if we come down here, solar. Yep. There we go. Make a pattern. And there we got our pattern. Excellent. Now or dictionary well we'll see if it ever causes us issues for the or dictionary using substitutions no most of those are using substitutions no so that might be a problem here this one i don't want to okay way to go server saving the world there awesome well i think we should be fine so let's do this 10 then minus one next do we have all yes we do this is this is great solar cells and we can watch it going through right there and done let's see got our nine okay so that means we can check right here we got our four four null modifiers structure frame tier one or above and a solar cell of any type excellent so let's do this and then we shall go out of here and wait for it to load and it's nighttime again and what I want to do is I want to put this on a separate network so we're actually going to grab five of these things and the reason we're putting this on a separate network is because we're going to be driving our resource miner our void ore miner from this solar panel or solar array and and yeah so that's that's uh, the name of the game at the moment. This first tier does not do much in the way of producing items, but we'll get the resource miner going or get the ore miner going first so we can get some of those crystals coming in without us having to craft it from our diamonds. Yep. So uh, what I want to do is lay these out like so. Okay. And we're going to grab the power cell card like this. Okay, and then and then we'll grab another one of these like this. Grab that power cell card, and we should be able to say uh, those are now unlinked. Okay. What I want to do is put this into here. Okay, it's a different link ID. If we're to look over here, this is link ID eight. And this is 21. And so we'll, what we'll do is we'll put that in there. And then we can come across like so. There we go. Okay. So those are now all on their own network. And we've taken off the buffer a little bit there. But that's, that's not a problem. And then what I want to do is find a good spot for this where it's going to be chunk loaded. And I think, I think we should be fine. If we go above this, this is chunk loaded over here. So, so yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is set up, I should have brought some blocks. Oh, that's going to be another thing here. Storage will go. Okay. I don't have easy access to my items here. 
just grab some dirt. Did we get? Yeah, we got dirt. Okay. And then out. And we'll build up off the ground a little bit so we've got some room for setting this thing up. Put that up there. Okay. And we'll go maybe right like that. Okay, and we'll put our solar ray tier one right there. And then from this point, I'm going to pull the torches off the bar because that kind of throws things off. And then you just hold down right click on the controller and you see it builds the thing and eventually it's going to say generating. And we've got 549 RF a tick coming in right now, which is pretty cool. Okay, don't get me wrong. It's nothing to sneeze at. It's not where we want to be ultimately, but uh, for for trying to run a an ore miner, I think I think we're in a pretty good position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw all five of these on here. Uh, we don't need it quite yet, but I think this is going to be good for now. And and then what we'll do is build the ore miner uh, right quick. And there we go. Okay, so we've got 549 RF a tick coming in, and then we can build the ore miner, and that's going to just drain from there. And that's fine, okay? So what we need to do now is go back and build this ore miner. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. Let's go in here. I'll build the controller with you at environmental tech. And we'll say controller and we'll do tier one, not that one or minor tier one. Overall, not too bad here. We do need some litharite tiles or litharite. Yes, we need 36 of those, two interconnects, a lens of some form, a diode. I think we can make that. Okay, that's good. And then how about litharite here? It'll be really good once we get this thing going. Uh, we need what? No, no, no. We need less. Uh, yeah. Okay. We need what? 36, right? 35. We've already got one. Okay. So far, not so bad. Litharite. We've got the 36 there. Okay, like that. All right, and then what else do we need for the controller? I did not select it. I hit shift uh, or controller. So we do that. Got the block of diamond. We just need the lens and that's just glass. We've got glass. Yeah, okay. And it's like this like an H pattern, kind of like you do for sticks and ladders. Okay. So we've got a, we got a clear laser lens. We'll need another one of those in just a moment, but let's do the ore controller again. We should be able to make this new no, interconnect. We need two of those. Can we do that? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Like so. And same thing here. What we do is we set it out and then we use this to get our shopping list. All right. And then we, uh, we just work from there. So 24 uh, structure frame tier ones. You've seen me do that. We've got a pattern for it and then structure panels. So we'll probably make a pattern for that. Yeah, we will make a pattern for that laser course. We need two of those. And we've got a got a laser lens of any type. And what I need to do is see about making the crystal laser lens. Can we do that one? What do we need for that? Erodium. And we only get erodium from the tier one, right? It comes from the tier one. So we have to set it up with our current, current setup right here. So let's make the structure panel. I don't know why it does that. Something, something went, went awry there. Structure panel. Yeah, this one like so. Oh, we don't have, so we need to make iron bars as a pattern as well. Got that. And we'll run that here like so. Make some of those our bars. 
and that'll just make 16. Okay, so we've got that structure panel. So we did start out this episode trying to get the remote stuff going, but again, it's third, 256,000 items that we've got to load in there. It's going to take it a while. Okay, so we need 24 structure. Okay, so structure frame tier ones, 24 of those. And we need bone meal. And this is where those processing patterns would come in really handy. Let's see if we can get a uh, bone. Yeah, we'll do this and we'll go out to our pulverizer and make some bone meal. But you kind of see how this process is going to go. I've got to craft up all the items for this thing. So let me get all of that done and then I'll bring you back when we're ready to build this thing. Well, I looked at the recording time and we're sitting at right around 30 minutes. And so that means we need to get this show on the road. Okay. So, um, we're not going to be finishing everything I wanted to try and finish in this episode, but that's fine. We need to find a place down here. And, and I think, uh, maybe this is as good a place as any. All right. So one of the things you got to keep in mind is that our uh, this this miner this ore miner needs to have access to bedrock and see we've already dug down to bedrock right we've still got we've got this place down here and we'll see if i've got enough blocks on my bar i don't know if i do i don't know if i do at all so let's try this let's see we'll put the power cell right here and then we'll build up basalt basalt okay and then same as we did with our solar array, we put that right there. And this one builds downward. So we'll get on top of it and see if that works. No, it doesn't. So it didn't quite work out the way I wanted to. So if it doesn't go where you want it to, you shift right click with the assembler and then you're fine. Okay. So now what I want to do is maybe put the salt on top of there and then put the, yep, put the controller right there. And then we will right click all of that like so. Okay. And it comes back to me once I let off the shift key and let's do this again. It should build the whole thing. You see right now it says direction negative one. When it completes, it should say direction. Okay, and it's got direction south. And which direction are we facing? South, okay. So now what we need to do is we need to provide some power and that's from here. So out, and then we need to provide an inventory and it should start bringing in items. It's draining this like nobody's business. Is it going to give us anything? Oh, this is going to be a slow process. Okay, so we get nickel ore and tin ore. We don't really care about those. I'm going to come up with some way of getting rid of all this stuff. But for now, we need uh, the things that come out of this particular controller. Uh, let's see. Will it show us? Uh, T or controller tier one. It won't show us what, how about the usage? Well, it gives us that. Okay. It's 10 pages of that. The main thing we're looking here for is the litharite crystal so that we don't have to craft it anymore. The erodium crystal, cause you can't craft it and we need it for the next tier and lawns light and and ultimately what we're getting to, we need witherproof blocks. And I think the first one we can get to, yeah, is Palladium. That requires tier three. Yeah. So we've got a little bit of, of effort ahead of us. Yeah. Yeah, we've got, we've got a few of these tiers to get through. So uh, we're going to have to leave this here and I will be chucking all of that because we've got bees for all of this. Yeah. So I'll come up with some sort of trash can and filtration system, but we're going to be waiting for those, those crystals to come in so that we can 
keep them around. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. Let's, um, I mean, we could get a sneaky screenshot of this thing. I mean, that would be nice, right? So we did the ore miner, right? And then we did this thing, the, the solar panel, right? Excellent. And then we started out on our, our, our quest for the remote thing. And it's going to be a while before this is done. So we're probably going to finish that saga up next time we're together. Yeah, we got a long way to go. I might see about making another one of these things and then just getting in as much cobblestone as possible. I don't know if that's the fastest way of getting cobblestone. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, if you know of a faster way of getting cobblestone or getting some sort of an item into that, uh, you're pretty much just throwing out junk blocks. So maybe any item will do. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.